Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Baker Barnes. I'm the president-elect of the Florida Bar and I'm here at the Lee County Bar Association membership luncheon today. Welcome. Come first because I never want to follow Sarah Baker Barnes. You'll see shortly why. Um, it was a little bit of a, a scheduling uh, snafu, but I'm really happy to be here. I have so many friends here. Um, he has uh, been a long time friend. I think uh, John from the Board of Governors, who's uh, my, I can say, my favorite member of the Board of Governors. Uh, I don't think he's here today, but John's a spectacular person. And obviously, he was preceded by many of you know Laird Lyle, so those are big shoes to fill. But um, I think Kathy, you started saying something that is absolutely true: is you know this is a special lady. Uh, I, she represents the very best of us. She she's a wonderful mother. She's a tremendous. Uh, wife, a uh, fantastic attorney, an incredible member of the Board of Governors. And so just, uh, and, and by the way, I'm glad you're getting involved, but one of the reasons I really enjoyed uh, my experience with the Board of Governors is meeting people like Sam Baker Barnes. Uh, you know, I, she's a plaintiff's attorney from Palm Beach County, I'm a transactional attorney from Miami. I would have never gotten the chance to meet Sam, and, and she's, uh, the friendship has enriched my life. And so, um, with, 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 with that... More important than things, than stuff, than cars, than the money we make, that the awards you receive, that the titles you get, because that's what keeps us grounded. And in times of need, that's what lifts us up. So um, I want to talk, if I could, just a little bit about my journey as a lawyer. I know Lauren had asked me to speak a little bit about that today. So my dad is a retired judge. He served on the bench in Palm Beach County for 24 years. Before that, he was... Um, he was one of the lawyers that helped to um, make our law firms more representative of our community in Palm Beach County. So he was the first black lawyer hired at a majority law firm in Palm Beach County. And he was, before that, a prosecutor. He was the chief homicide prosecutor in Palm Beach County, and he was there for 10 years. My mom um, was a leader in the Department of Corrections, and she ran the 15th Circuit Department of Corrections for almost 15 years. So I literally grew up in the law and in law enforcement. I, I grew up in the halls of the state attorney's office running up and down the hallways when my dad was practicing. And I went to college going, I'm never going to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I've seen all of this craziness. I've seen, I've heard all the stories. I wanted to be a news reporter. I'm a talker. I love talking. And I, I went to college saying, I'm going to be a reporter, I'm going to be on the sidelines of some sports game, and I'm going to be telling stories about some big football game or some big baseball game. And I um, interned at every possible you know, communications place that you could. Uh, I did it at a newspaper, at a news station, I worked in the governor's office, I did all of these things related to becoming a reporter, and I enjoyed it, but I can tell you that in the process, for me, there was always something that was missing. I, I, I liked it, I didn't love it. And I sort of got to the end of my road as a, as, a, as a college student. I was getting ready to get my degree in communication and I had to figure out, okay, what am I gonna do with myself now if I'm not gonna be a reporter? And I ended up saying, well, maybe I'll go to law school. And I did, and I got to law school and I absolutely loved it. I loved the advocacy, I loved the challenges, I loved the thought process, still didn't quite know if, I, if this was what I was going to end up doing. And then when I actually became a lawyer, I realized that the piece that was missing for me as a reporter was the result that we get as a lawyer, the opportunity to make somebody's life better, no matter what our practice area is, right? As lawyers, every client comes to us with a problem. Roland's practice area is transactional. His clients come to him with a problem that they want him to resolve. And as we, we as lawyers have the opportunity to help our clients resolve that problem. And in my practice area, you know, my clients come to me and they're, they're in the worst place ever. Two years, so let's give them another one.
Ed, you hit on a couple really important topics today. You know that this community was devastated a couple years ago by, by Hurricane Ian. We're coming up on two years. I can't believe it at this point. But having a legal family and a statewide family is really important. We had lawyers, we had judges that had great destruction from their home, but they still took time to come and offer services to our community members as to how to navigate working with the insurance companies and things like that. So um, not only, um, they just gave so, so generously. And in addition to that, we saw so many voluntary bar organizations mm -hmm. offer to come here and give us basic things that we needed, like ice and water and generators because we had no power. So the importance of uh, sticking to- kind of stole it. <laughs> um, and there's good reason for that because it had been implemented, it had begun to run, and it worked really well. And it was given a lot of help to people who really needed help. And there was a couple things that were happening at that time. And I went down to the Collier County Bar Association. Uh, Justice Gross Sounds was there, and it was Law Day. And they had just named the service award in Collier County um, for uh, Rebecca Baccarello, um, who was incredibly involved in the Collier County Bar Association. Uh, volunteered for everything, was someone that people could always turn to, and who had committed suicide um, soon before that meeting. Her mother was there uh, talking, and the program had not started at the time that her daughter committed suicide. And she talked about how happy she was about this program. Um, about that same time, we had a murder trial going on here in Lee County. And in the middle of that trial, the prosecutor who was handling it committed suicide. Um, so it became very evident to me, we've got an issue. And Mental wasn't. health wasn't discussed. In fact, when it was attempted to be discussed, it was swept under the rug. With initiatives such as this, we have the ability to not only bring this to light and possibly ease some stress, but be the thread to hold that one person together and change their lives forever. I implore you to take the time to reach out. <coughs> take the time to check on your peers. Words and actions matter. Be the one to give the encouraging word of hope if you can. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're stressed, don't hesitate yourself to talk to somebody, whether it be a family member, a friend, a coworker, or a professional. There was a group of us who attended the Lee Memorial Hospital um, training course, and we received our mental health first aid certificate. Now, we have the tools to help our peers. Good afternoon, everyone. Holly Cosby. Um, I'm going to be vulnerable with all of you for just a few minutes. I hope that's okay. Um, some of you in the room know a little bit about the story about my daughter, and for those of you who don't, I'll fill you in quickly. In 2020, when COVID hit and the schools were closed and my teenagers were isolated, my daughter's latent mental health issues quickly rose to the surface. Um, and we battled it for a few years, so we're still battling it. Uh, it's going to be a lifelong journey, but mm -hmm. while we were battling it, uh, we were dealing with suicide attempts and substance use, and we were alone. Um, we were ashamed. We were getting the help for her that she needed, um, but no one was talking about it. And it was horrible. Um, so I decided I wanted to start talking about it. And while I was president of the Inns of Court, um, I stood on a platform of mental health, and I brought little pieces of mental health to